Hello ladies and gentlemen. I'm making this video hoping that someone could help me out. I have this uh, Android TV box which I bought a while ago and I just came across it today. Um, I tried to figure out what the motherboard was or CPU to see if I can um, install Linux onto it and use it as a some kind of a server or um, like a torrent uploader or something um, but yeah I couldn't get any information as to what um, CPU or GPU or uh, whatever it was using uh, it looks like a very nice motherboard it's got um, two USB 2.0 ports on the outside and then it's got two USB 2.0 ports on the actual board itself which is in the inside the box pretty much um, that's one of it there. There you go. That's oops. Uh, that's one of the USB 2.0 ports, and that's another one of the two USB 2.0 ports. Um, I'll get close to this. I don't know what that is. Also, this is sort of a test for my new webcam, which is the C920 by Logitech. It's a really nice webcam, and I'm. I'm really happy I bought it. It's it's really good. Okay, let's go back to where was that? There we go. Okay, the name of the TV box is called Neoni Q um, Smart TV Box or Intelligent TV Box or something. Um, a pulse. Audio, I think that is. I don't know. Okay, now I'll try the outside. Now, there's the two USB ports and an SD card slot in front of it. So the side, and now the back. Okay, it's got a HDMI out um, and the components. And it's got an external Wi-Fi antenna and an Ethernet port. I don't know if the Ethernet port's a gigabit LAN or, or what. Uh, I think only a couple of years ago I bought this. Uh, here's the back of it. Yeah, my hands are shaking too much. Um, oh. The screen went black. Okay, let's try like this. Okay, there we go. It says Cortex A9, but yeah, which manufacturer who made it? Is it a rocket chip? Is it all winner? Is it AM Logic? Is it <coughs> who you know Freescale? I don't know. I'd really like to install Linux onto this. And um, yeah, it'll make a really nice like a torrent uploader or, or even like a share media NAS drive sort of thing. I think it's got potential. I think it's got all the inputs I need. A lot of external USB 2.0 ports. Um, oops. There's the front of the block at uh, the top. Top half of the box. Let's go turn it around. Intelligent TV box. Neo Q. I think this box is also known as um, oh, GTV220. And the last Android that came out for this device was uh, Ice Cream Sandwich ICS. Is a Wi-Fi card. Oops. Okay. Um, so yeah, if anyone can help me out and tell me um, if they manage to get, install Linux onto this box, or or if they manage to install Jelly Bean even on this box, uh, I'd really be grateful. I think it's got. Yeah, it says um, model ELAWBTV23. 
CPU Cortex A9, Display HDMI component, Memory DDR 512 megabytes. Then flash is 2 gigs. Uh, yeah, so the only Q intelligent TV box. So yeah, if anyone can help me out, um, tell me if it's possible to install Linux onto it. I'll be really grateful. Thank you very much. Just right on the bottom. Thank you.